Good day. This is Fuel Cell Technologies here. What we're going to do today is see if we can show you how dynamic the reaction is, the electrochemical reaction is in a turbo fuel cell. Now what we're going to do of course is switch on the turbo fuel cell in this transparent container. But the main thing we wanted to do here, so there's the, this is the, it's a very old fuel cell we've used many, many times just for testing and developing ideas, etc. And then over here we've got a container, this is just a container, and inside you will see a bottle, just there's the top of the bottle there, you see there it is right there, okay. And that bottle is connected it, for, through its bottom to a pipe that goes to the top of the fuel cell. This is a one-way uh, valve, this is a very annoying pointer because it has it has some magnetism in it. Any event, um, this uh, one-way valve um, allows the uh, HHO gas, once again we keep on getting caught in everything, uh, right to go right into this here. Normally this is being vacuumed out into the engine, so this is being pushed out at the present moment by the, the cell when it starts. Now what happens is this uh, bottle here um, rises, like a phoenix out the ashes, and it's phoenix out of water. And if you look down here, you'll see its neck. There's the neck right there. Now, to produce this reaction is a fairly low uh, energy, uh, it's a couple of amps, and uh, these are the connections. These, of course, up here are the positive, and that's the negative over there. Goes the battery, um, and uh, th that is a bubbler control over there. Um, so, what we're going to do without further ado is connect this up. What I'd like you to do is to, to watch this over here and, and watch this here. You'll see, watch this top here as I put it in, as I, as I switch this on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in, in the fuse that controls uh, the power and the energy coming through into the fuel cell. And um, I'll put it through and um, just wait a moment, I'll do it right now. And here we go, we're just going to do that. And you'll see right away the reaction start. Look at that reaction. See it going there? Look at it. You'll see it going. It's gone from clear to opaque. Those are all bubbles, HHO bubbles. And look at this thing over here. You can see it rising immediately. Look at that coming out. Now that, this is a, a very uh, volatile type of gas, but there's never any more than a, a, a egg cup full at any one stage in the system because constantly this is being vacuumed out from here into the engine. This is normally connected to the air pipe, uh, but it's a thicker pipe, it's a vacuum pipe, is connected into the air pipe and that's uh, of the engine and then that is vacuumed out into the um, into the cylinder and after exploding uh, it immediately reverts to what it was before, water. So within a second of being made into gas it reverts back to water again and so you have a very fine vapour in the engine which helps reduce wear and tear that cools the engine down, keeps it slightly cooler than it would normally be, which is a huge, huge advantage. And then of course that goes in, th that mix of fuel and HHO gas goes into the exhaust and comes out of the emissions at the back, probably about 30% down. Now what you've seen here in this very short time, it's moved from, uh, it's, it's done already two, two milliliters of, uh, of uh, fuel here, and you can see it's climbing all the time, it, it's being pushed down by the, 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 the production in the here of the gases. It's a very violent reaction. It goes right the way around and within those cells there, as you can see those sort of uh, vertical stands inside there, those white things, it's even reacting in there, hence the, 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 the um, holes in them so that the gases can get out all the time. And so look at that, we're already up to 300 milliliters of gas being produced. Now this normally uh, would then, as I say, be sucked into the engine as HHO gas. Now HHO gas is three times more combustive than, uh, than petrol, which is um, very important because you know it, it causes a, a pretty big fire within the engine and uh, it means you don't have to put your foot down on the accelerator quite so hard because uh, the, the HHO gas is uh, it's replacing or supplementing the pe petrol going in and of course diesel. The result is that uh, you're not having to use as much petrol or diesel to do the same trip. So if normally, for instance, you, you used, uh, say, a litre of fuel to do, say, 10 miles, using HHO gas, um, you could reduce that, if you're using diesel, for instance, you could reduce that down to 
400, um, 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 by 400 milliliters to 600 milliliters of diesel, and you're saving 400, which is 40%, of course. Now, that is the potential. You've got a huge potential in this to save a lot of fuel. Whether you've got a boat, a truck, a car, a heavy piece of equipment, whatever. And we've had a lot of inquiries for people who've got central heating because they realize the price of oil is just going through the roof. Um, now, it can be applied to most areas, although we haven't done the central heating yet, but uh, people who want to, want to make savings may look at it and uh, make a lot of savings. Petrol, of course, you can save more petrol than diesel, but then again, you've got a lot of uh, more savings to do because in a petrol engine, if you, for instance, got a 50 litre tank, you're burning 50 litres out of that 50 litre tank, you're only burning about 10 to drive the car, and the best risk gets thrown out through the back. With HHO gas, you can turn that from 10 to 20 litres out of 50 burning, and of course that also means you're throwing out less particulates out the back. You're not um, um, coating your valves and everything in carbons, and you're just stop your pistons. And, um, and of course diesel, we can boost that up to 28 or 29 uh, litres out of 50. So it's got huge savings potential. Um, some people uh, have now been running this high-performance sports car on this and um, it's also being used for oxyacetylene. There's a whole lot of applications for HHO. Now you can see here, look at it, there we are. It's produced a, a litre of gas in a, in a minute or two and there we are, look at it, it's bubbling away right down the bottom because it's, the bottle is completely full. Now that's a very dynamic uh, uh, container of, of, uh, of fuel which is never that much ever. There's probably only about that much in at any one stage. As I'll show you here, it's only about that much at the top at any one stage. The only reason it, it is down here right now, it is like this right now, is because um, we just let it gather. But normally it's, a, it's an on-demand system, so when you switch on the engine it starts producing like you saw, when you switch off the engine it stops producing. So there's never more than that, like an egg cup full in, in, your, in your vehicle at any one stage. But here we let it gather up because we want to show you how, how fast it produces the gas. And if you want more gas into your car because you've got a very big engine or very using a lot of fuel because you're doing a lot of fast mileage or you're, using, uh, you're doing a lot of hill climbing, etc., you probably need one, two or three of these units in your vehicle to produce more and more gas. And of course, you can imagine this, if, if we had all this gas being produced by two or three, this thing virtually shoot out the water. So um, it, it, it's got a lot of potential to save a lot of fuel. Um, the electrochemical reaction is, is, uh, is ongoing, as you can see, it just doesn't stop, it just keeps on going. But at a certain time, you'd have to top up the, the electrolyte. Now, um, what we've done here is uh, show that this is an on-demand system. And uh, what we have to say to you is, if you like it, if you think that you want to put this in your vehicle and save a lot of money, it's a very simple connection, as I've shown you. There's a vacuum pipe to the air system, air inlet, after the air filter. There's a, this, this wire here to be connected to an on-demand system. And this wire over here to the battery on the, on the negative side. That's all there is. A very, very simple thing, folks. Oh, by the way, you just have to strap this into the into a place so it uh, uh, stays. We wouldn't be using this, though. We use a different type of material. This is only to show you how easy it is and, and, and the reactions going on. Thank you very much for, for listening and uh, we look forward to seeing you with fuel cells in your cars and helping to save uh, our pollution and saving a lot of fuel. Thank you very much. Bye.